Singer Marvin Gaye's father is in jail in Los Angeles this morning, held without bail and facing murder charges in the death of his son. After a particularly slow period, legendary soul man Marvin Gaye was on track for a huge comeback in early 1982. He was dropping sexual healing and, yo, like he was being hip. He was Marvin for life. Despite his resurgence, Marvin was depressed, paranoid, and addicted to cocaine. In late 83, he moved into his parents' house, and all tensions with his minister father, Marvin Sr., resurfaced. I remember hearing that his father was very jealous of, one, his career, and the relationship that he had with his mom. So there's a lot of animosity, a lot of hurt there. Then, on April 1st, 1984, Marvin got in the middle of a spat between his mother and father. Argument turned physical. The mother interceded and separated them. Moments later, the father reappeared. He had a handgun with him, and he fired two shots, fatally wounding uh, Marvin Gaye. It was April Fool's Day, so people didn't want to believe it. It was such an insane idea that Marvin Gaye's dead. Marvin Gaye's been shot by his father. There's no way. Fans this afternoon who passed the family home where it happened played his music and prayed for the soul from which it came. Marvin Sr. was charged with manslaughter instead of murder when doctors found out he had a brain tumor. Sentenced to probation, he spent his remaining years in a retirement home. I've been really trying, baby. Every time I see a Marvin Gaye, a Tupac, a Biggie, you go, man, I wish he had lived long enough to see the mark he left in the game. Let's go.